All right, what's going on, FFPE? As we know, all the stats are official, so we're gonna go over my, you know, my, that I do every week, the banner review. We're gonna start with Gallus, um, the three-star base, then I work my way up. So his TMR is the big chopper, you can get attack plus 130, uh, defense 10%, damage variance of 100 to 160%, and it's accuracy by 50%. It's in a two-handed weapon. Um, it's okay. Conrad's about the same thing. With the revolving saw, the only difference is with this you're going to get 10% defense, which so that's eh. His kit's honestly nothing great whatsoever. Um, next we got is um, Zolulu and Daylulu. Um, so they are the four star base, and their TMR is attack plus 20%. Uh, attack plus 30% when equipped with the bow and attack plus 40 or in spirit plus 40% when equipped with the art harp um, Honestly, this is just absolute garbage. I, I don't even see a Relevant use for it whatsoever So I would say yeah, don't even bother um, Pulling you know trying to get them or this There's other better four-star units out there um, next up we got is Yigo. So this is one of the two five-star bases on this banner. Um, they each have an individual uh, 12k step up. So you can, you know, summon on that if you'd like to. Um, me personally, I'm completely skipping this. So the TMR is Whip Expert. You're going to get MP plus 20%. Uh, attack plus 50% when equipped with the Whip. Um, accuracy or an attack plus 50% and 25% with single wielding. So if you single wield a whip, you're gonna get those. Um, you're gonna get, and then her STMR is Fast Slash, which is a 176 point whip. Damage range of 105 to uh, 155%, 50% uh, accuracy. Um, 200 whip. I really don't see the point of how <laughs> honestly this is kind of a disappointing banner quite honestly so but i'm still gonna go over it anyway in case you think it might be worth your time um so it's got smashes physical da physical damage at 3.5 times mod to one enemy first aid mob row you get 3000 hp and 9000 hp split over three turns with 180 mp refresh uh, over three turns. Um, Marbro Tentacle, and you have a chance to KO an enemy with uh, physical damage. That's okay. Um, bad Breath, uh, physical four time, physical damage four times mod uh, for three turns to all enemies, and chance to inflict status element by 50%, and decreases uh, light, ice, light, and dark resistance by 60% for four turns. Enable skill Bad Breath. Um, Wild Whip, you're going to get is a 4.8 times mod to all enemies. Uh, ground Whip, Earth Physical Damage 5.6 times mod with decreased Earth Resistance by 75%, and, and three LB Crystals with, with the AT Chaining Frames. And then she's got her Double Whip. She can use pretty much in her entire kit. It's pretty nice. Um, get Serious is increased attack by 250% for six turns. So the caster does quite, quite long. Um, Remove attack, defense, and ma uh, magic and spirit breaks from the caster. Increase attack, magic, defense, and sp spirit break resistance by 100%. Uh, enable for triple, you get triple cast for five turns. Um, then you got brutal whip with seven times mod to one enemy. Decrease earth resistance by 100%. AT chaining frames. Um, next we got toxic whip, chance to 30% chance to KO uh, or deal physical damage 16 times mod to all enemies or seven times uh, damage to. to for up to three turns um, to all enemies. Um, then there's support mob roll. Randomly use one of these three abilities. Marble support, uh, physical damage 6.5 times mod uh, per turn for three turns to all enemies. Uh, bad breath, four, point ti four times mod for three turns to all enemies. Inflict status, random status elements by 50%. Uh, decrease resistances by 60% of light, ice, and dark. Um, you can get Enable bad breath for four turns, and then there's Marlboro chin for chin chance for Marlboro support decrease ice, light, and dark resistance by 120% for uh, one turn. Hi, oh my god, it's kind of late, so I'm trying to, but 
I want to get this out for you guys. Um, so her passives are Lonely Girl, you get HP, MP by 20%. Marvel Companion, Attack, Defense, Magic, and Spirit by 20%. Marvel Rider, Attack of 30% with Equip, and then 50% Attack when single wielding and an additional 25% accuracy. Increase physical and magic damage against demons and plants by 50%. Sturdy build, increase HP, MP by 10%, defense and spirit by 30%. Solitude and fortitude, attack plus 30%. Auto heal 1800 with a one times mod, recover 5% MP per, per turn. Um, Gamma star with the TMR equipped, you're gonna get an additional 50% attack. And then you get another equipment attack by 50% with 25% when uh, seeing a wielding. Um, chance to ignore fatal damage for 80% when, H when HP is above 30%. Master Whip user, you're going to get an additional 20% MP. Increase attack by 20% when equipped with a whip. Increase physical damage against demons and plants by 50%. HP plus 20%. Bond to the Marlboro. Increase uh, status resistance to all status elements by 100%. That's kind of cool. Um, Increase uh, modifier to smash by 1.5 and increase modifier to ground weapon wild by 1. Um, she's got Aroga and Roja. Her limit burst is physical damage 23.1 times mod to all enemies with a chance to inflict 6 random status elements with 80% to all enemies. Enable uh, the triple whip for three tur or, uh, 4 turns. Um, if you max it out, it's 26 times with the same thing, chance to inflict a uh, salvage by 80% and triple whip for four turns. She's okay ish. Uh, I wouldn't say she's worth your 12k but if you know if you get her for free off of a daily pull or a ticket eh, you know it could become useful. I, I think she probably would be most useful in the arena. That's about it but if you start getting those upper tier people who are usually using uh, status elements resist anyway so it's highly unlikely you're really going to inflict that on anyone. Last but not least is Nagi. Um, her TMR is the Black Fox Shapeshifter Mask. Attack plus 40, defense plus 10, attack magic plus 40, spirit plus 12. Her STMR is the Ying Ying uh, Dual Hand. Uh, increase attack and magic by 40%. In increase e equipment at attack and magic by 50% when dual wielding. It's pretty cool. I think that's pretty decent. So far she has the most value that I've seen. Um, she has this weapon here, looks like it's a fist, yeah, uh, 105 attack, 70 magic, an exhaustible spirit, cast auto, cost, inexhaustible spirit at the start of battle, okay, that's only with Nagi though, um, so her abilities are water projection, water hybrid damage, 7.5 times mod to all enemies, ice splinters, ice hi hi hybrid damage at 7.5 to all enemies, yin yang blind, Hybrid damage 5 times when enemy inflicts stop by 40%. Poison mist, hybrid damage 5.5 mod to all enemies with a chance to inflict poison 100%. Um, brilliance light, hybrid damage to 16.5 times mod to enemy decrease light resistance by 100%. Divine ruination chaining, which is not bad. Pretty makes it kind of useful there. Dark spirits, dark hybrid damage 16.5 times mod to one enemy. Decrease dark resistance by 100%. Divine ruination as well. Dying Flora, hybrid damage, 11 times mod to all enemies inflict poison, blind, and confused by 100%. Decrease ice and wind resistance by 60%. Graviton Cannon family, uh, projection of dance of darkness, uh, dark hybrid damage, 17.5 times mod to all enemies with Aurora Ray chaining family, uh, projection of dance dest of destruction, uh, dark hybrid damage, 28, 28 times mod to one enemy. Um, available on turn three. Uh, clad and power, uh, five turn cooldown, available turn one. Uh, increase attack and magic by 250% to the caster for five turns. Decrease ice, wind, light, and dark resistance for by 100% to all enemies. That's actually kind of cool. I do like that. Um, next is her passives. Uh, illusionary projection, um, increase attack and magic by 30%. Unbroken projection. Uh, Increase defense and spirit by 20% and MP refresh by 5%. Enable dual wielding of one-handed weapons. Uh, secret notebook. Increase attack, spirit, HP, and MP by 20%. Increase magic by 20%. When equipped with a fist, and increase resistance to confuse by 100%. Ambush. Increase physical damage against demons 
humans and undead monsters by 50%. Um, obsessive devotion, uh, attack plus 20%, attack and magic plus 20%. When equipped with a fist, increase resistance to poison and blind by 100%. If you have a TMR on, you're going to get the Iota Star. Uh, increase attack and magic by 50%. Uh, increase physical uh, and magical damage against demons, humans, and undead monsters by 50%. Increase equipment attack by 100% with dual wielding. So obviously you want to make her a dual wield unit. Uh, increase magic by 20%. And then her last one is increase attack magic by 100% with dual wielding. Increase physical evasion plus by 30%. LB damage by 50%, increase the modifiers to ice splinters and water projection by 1, and, and increase the modifiers to brilliant star experience and dying flora by 2. Um, her limit burst is hybrid damage 27.1 times mod damage to one enemy, when increase in attack and magic by 200% for, for 3 turns, cannot be dispelled, so do keep that in mind, enemy can't dispel that off you. Um, if you do max it out, it becomes a 30 times mod with the same thing of 230% the caster cannot be dispelled. So, you know, um, you know, like I said, all these pulls are all based on what, you know, what you really need, what you think, you, if you like it, maybe you're a really big fan and you want to collect the orders, go ahead and go for it. Um, you know, let me know if you guys are going to pull your, you know, are you going to skip in this banner? Are you, you know, what, what's the unit you're kind of waiting for? Um, you know, so that's my kind of my thoughts right here. Not there, nothing's really great here. I'm, completely skipping this banner myself that's just me personally but because i really with esther and axar like they're just leaves and bounds ahead of these guys so there's to me there's not much point but um you know thanks for giving me some of your time today to you know, kind of go over this banner you know I greatly appreciate it and remember to like comment subscribe to my channel your support is, support is greatly appreciated and i'll see you next one guys peace